Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen, and wow, right? Well, you know, I told you in 2020 that I was going to show you everything I could, and that is continuing on in 2021. I'm going to show you every style, color, shape, everything that I can, because as you know, this channel is not about me. This channel is about you and showing you everything that is out there, showing you all color, all colors and styles, calf constructions, giving you as much information as I can so you can make a good decision when you go to purchase your hair. Even if that means me stepping way out of my comfort zone, I'm still going to do it. I totally get that this is not my color. I don't care about that because guess what? This might be your color and what you've been looking for. So I'm going to show it to you. This is Noriko Dolce and Raspberry Ice R. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram. I have Coffee with the Crazy Wig Lady, Wig to Toe Wednesday, Wig Giveaways, Makeup Giveaways. Everything happens on Instagram at Crazy Wig Lady. Okay, let's have a look. Noriko Dolce Raspberry Ice R. Okay, let's talk about Noriko Dolce. Well, this is a classic. Everyone's probably seen this wig. It's been around a long time, and it is a very popular seller, of course, for Noriko. I purchased this with my own funds from Wig Studio One, so be sure to go over there and see all the Noriko styles. Now, if you are familiar with Noriko, you know they are full of permatees, and this is no exception. If you don't like permatees, this is not your wig, because this is full of permatees. I, however, like permatee so it's right up my alley now this cut has lots of layers and waves let me show you the back has a little bit of wave back here in the back a nice nape fits close to the neck i like that the front of this is 6.1 the crown is 7.48 and it has a 2.7 inch nape just like i said a classic cut for noriko you can wear it all down and around your face like this. I have My face is 9 inches from hairline to chin, if that gives you any indication of how this might fit on you. And this fit on me is, I would say it's snug. It's a little, it's a little snug. It's comfortable. It's not too small, but it is snug, and that runs true um, on most Noriko wigs with me. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference. Again, lots of permities here. Let me show you this up close. I like the layering that you can bring this around your face and then also it's long enough that you can tuck it behind your ear. I just like it that way. Certainly don't have to do that. Let's see, I would wear this with a headband. I would probably just pull a little hair back behind my ears. That's just how I like to do it. On this one you could easily wear this with a nice headband. Now this does not have a lace front. This is basic cap. So it is uh, budget friendly if that's something you're concerned about. And I like that about Noriko styles as well. Again, I think I would just wear this behind my ear like this. Now be sure to stay to the end of the video. I will have a, a little outside video of this color so you'll be able to see how it looks in outdoor lighting. Okay, let's take a quick look at the inside of the cap. Okay, Noriko Dolce. Like I said, basic cap. No lace front. Lots and lots of permatees here. Closed ear tabs with stays. Open wefted. Pull type adjusters. Extended lace nape. And not, not a lot of stretch here. And here's another look at raspberry ice. Beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, that was a look at the inside of the cap. I just pulled this back and a little barrette just to show, show you, even though this does not have a lace front, you can still pull this off your face if you'd like. You just leave it down, covering the front, and add a pin, a clip, barrette, something there, and you can definitely get this off your face. But I really think this is a beautiful bang on this. It gives it a nice silhouette. You can just leave some hanging down, just very, very casual. Beautiful feminine wig, in my opinion. Okay, raspberry eyes. Let's take a look at it. Again, at the end of the video, I'll have this color in outdoor lighting. This is a dark root on this wig, as you can see. Very dark. Medium auburn base. 
with copper and strawberry blonde highlights and you can see this highlighting and you'll definitely I think be able to see it in the photos of outdoor lighting but there it's very subtle it's just a little as you can see it's not a lot of highlighting in this wig it's just at different places they've they've put just a little highlighting in here beautiful color now I wanted to compare it uh, I have Deepest Ruby by Raquel Welch. This is on my upstage. So let's just do a color comparison of these two. The Deepest Ruby is also a dark, a dark auburn, and it's been evenly blended with ruby red. And I have some side-by-side -side pictures of this too, I believe, coming up. But just so you, they are similar. They are similar colors. Of course, this has more the highlighting where this does not. But, and this is more, more red. This is a little more auburn. Uh, this is really, really dark. But similar colors. Just wanted you to have a quick look at that. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making it for you. And like I said, it's a real step out of my box, but I still am going to show you everything I can. Again, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.